My Little Pony is owned by Hasbro and DXX Media. Please support the official release. Hello YouTube, T-Spox here. Here to react to MLP Season 7 Episode 5. Uh, I didn't even know this was going to be posted today, so I just thought I'd throw in a quick reaction here and see what we got in store here. Looks to be a Fluttershy episode of some kind. Well, we'll see what's going on here. Okay, we see Angel. Fluttershy. Angel's doing some sort of bunny Olympics. That's interesting. Oh, be careful. I didn't know Angel was so agile. He is a bunny after all. <laughs> okay. Ah, the slow motion jump. Uh oh, oh, Are down he goes. <laughs> oh, Angel stubbed his toe. Poor little bunny. I think it's time to put him down, Fluttershy. For his own sake. Relax, people, it's just a joke. <laughs> I don't really hate I'm Angel. All out of bunny foot braces. I think we need to pay a visit bunny to Dr. Foot Fauna. Dr. Fauna? They're obviously closed there, Fluttershy. I was sure she would be here today. Hello? Is any pony there? Fluttershy? Oh, am I glad to see you! I wish I could see the same, but the door is stuck, so I, um, can't see you. Oh, uh, that is the so town vet! His foot. Let's bandage that up so we can get back home. I'd like to keep him overnight, but as you can see, my place is just bursting with animals! I don't think I can take an even one. So the more vet and right Fluttershy now. do get along. We always wondered about that. Oh dear. A giraffe? They have giraffes? Oh dear. Oh, no intro in this one. Don't eat the cotton balls. Hey, there's the main hat and raccoons. You really have your hooves full here. <sighs> this place is like a zoo. Then again, it's normally like that, <laughs> but still, <sighs> I can't keep up. <laughs> They're building nests. Oh, no, I thought the ponies built all the nests for the birds. Carrot okay. pop, huh? I think the goats ate all of them anyway. I just can't believe all these poor little Yeah, there's a goat for you. What happened? I'm flummoxed. Every day there's more and more animals on my doorstep. Most of them just have minor ailments, hurt wings, stuffy noses and such. But the trouble is, even after they're all healed up, I can't seem to get these comfy critters to leave. Oh dear. Maybe you need uh, rarity. She they can get them the f out of there. Made themselves right at home here. I wonder why they chose to flock to my office. Oh, it just doesn't make sense. Wonder if Rainbow's doing some more dangerous Don't be stunts silly, or something. Dr. Fauna. You're the best vet pony in Equestria. At least that's what I've been telling every pony. Uh, you did what? The, the thumbnail seems to suggest Applejack is involved fault? somehow. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. I just know animals feel safe and happy under your care. Well, normally I don't mind if a snake wants to slither in or a raccoon needs a rest. But now this place is so full, I have no space to treat any injured animals. That is a big problem. That I'm going to fix for you. I already have the perfect solution. Of course, you will, Fluttershy. Happy and give you more space. 
Then you'll have all Take them all to your house? Oh, Applejack's farm. That's a horrible pun there. The sooner you fix it, the better. Oh, we got a bear that's different from Harry here. I want to thank you all for rushing right over when I called. Dr. Fauna needs my help with a Whoa. serious problem. Careful there, problem. Angel. That language is not to be no, spoken on television. The is a bit, maybe, um, overrun with adorable critters in dire need of a safe place to lay their heads, and they don't have anywhere to go. Oh, that's just awful. I know. Yeah. Dr. Fauna's always fixing Winona up when she ain't feeling too fine. So helping her out is A-OK -okay by me. Huh, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Of course it is, Applejack. Oh, that's great news. Because it means you'll all be helping me with something special, too. Something that's been a dream of mine for a long time. Oh, goody! Is Your own Zoom, Zoom Fluttershy? Like a gigantic bunt cake? Um, no. Not exactly. I'm what? guessing she Give wants to that. build an animal sanctuary so, what of is some it, kind. Fluttershy? Spill! My dream is to build a real animal sanctuary. A beautiful I knew habitat it. where every animal, whether sick or scared, or even just lonely, feathered or furry, scaly or slimy. At least we're getting every some backstory be on what Fluttershy actually working for in her life. They call home a goal for her. They feel ready to take on the world. <laughs> Wow, Fluttershy. Mm. I've Sounds like a nice place. With such conviction. Oh, that was exquisite. Pretty awesome. Oh, thank you, every pony. You've all taught me so much about building so where are you gonna put it? over the years. It's because of your friendship that I finally feel Twice able got to the power to annex any land you might reality. need. But I can't build the sanctuary alone. Will you join me? Don't <laughs> me. Got it. I'm happy to offer my extra hooves to you. But come to think of it, I the ones you keep in the barn would be more help than I would. She's a friend of mine from Winona's sheep herding competition. It looks Blimey. like we've got a commercial going She's on here. She's an expert in animal enclosures. Just take a few seconds here to get past it. These freaking commercials. He can build all right, here we go again. Hearing you all mention these experts, I am Ooh. reminded that I too have the perfect pony to help capture the essence of your Another vision. new pony. To give it some That's style, interesting. Some flair. <laughs> Is it you, Rarity? <laughs> no. No. Another um, new pony. I'm referring to the pony? interior designer of the Cantalot Elite, Dandy Grandeur. He helped me when I was setting up my Cantalot boutique. I know he. And who would that be, Rarity? Wow, every pony! Thank you. I can't wait to meet all of them and hear their ideas. We're right on track to building the most wonderful sanctuary in Equestria. Well, there's a lot of new characters this episode. Thank you, Rupert. Twilight should have plenty of bits to pay for it. It's wonderful that you all could join me to discuss the Ponyville Sanctuary Project. Hey, we got construction pony, so many nice cowboy pony. To say about each of your talents. This is a big project. <laughs> and flamboyant pony. So I'm happy pony. to have such experienced ponies working on it with me. Rarity has impeccable well, your snake is really well behaved. Friends, so I can't wait to work with you, you know? I, I think so. I wonder what their voice is going to yeah! be like. I'm just looking forward to It'd be funny the if the flamboyant pony had some deep, the manly place. voice. So, uh, Pinkie Pie said you drew up some blueprints? Um, not exactly. It's more of a dream board. That's pretty much what I expected from him. Yep, that sure that's the stereotype like expected on her, too. But that's because it's not. It's a sanctuary. A place that is safe, but not restrictive. Cozy, but natural. And we got the contractor. The animals can come and go as they please. It's pretty hard to understand there, Fluttershy. So, can you build it? <laughs> uh. 
I want the sanctuary to have an open floor plan. No walls, more like an enclosure that melts into the trees, with a gate in the back. That way, the animals can return to the forest right when they feel ready. Sneaky! I like it! I think I see you where know, this is going. I designed the Ponyville Hospital. I could do the exact same thing right here. I still have the blueprints. Though, it'll take a while to clear all these trees. But I don't want to clear the trees. I want to use them. Are you sure? What you're talking about doesn't really seem like a cohesive structure. Or any structure I'm familiar with. Critters don't live the same way ponies do. I know this is unconventional, but that's because we're trying to do something that's never been done before. And I really believe it'll work. Hmm. All right, then. I'll see what I can do. See, Fluttershy? Whatever you want. Good. I know she thinks she knows what's best. Kind of surprised this has never been done before. With these plans, she'll Especially since us. the ponies has such a symbiotic oh, relationship oh, with nature. Which one do you like for the window treatments? Loving the print on those. This was um, not bode not well. To be rude, but there must be some mistake. We have no need for curtains at the sanctuary. And yep. why have not? Saw that coming. Everything is gonna look natural in the animal habitats, not like it was made for ponies. All those shades of brown and green, but they're so. I don't think Fluttershy drab, Sanctuary has you know? windows. <laughs> drab? You're calling the colors of beautiful trees drab? Exactly. The natural look is not in right now. This is better. Trust me. I appreciate your input, but I just know the animals would be happiest with dirt brown pillows and leaf green accents. I'll look into it. Thank you. When a client has a vision. <laughs> Sometimes they need me to steer them away from it. Especially if it's Dirt brown. And right there, we got your standard sheep traveling cage. That's At critters, least she's being assertive and of what mm. she wants. Uh, what but I have a feeling tree? he's going to ignore I'm her too and do whatever he like a cage, wants. More like a nice hug. Maybe if we lose that part. They're all going to do their well, own thing. It and it's not going to exactly. come out. It's going to be a total disaster. This is the perfect base for a little nest. I'll take a bunch of these, and anything else the animals can burrow into. You sure you don't want something more secure for the critters? She does have a point there. You wouldn't want a bunny wandering into the wrong cave, would you? No. No cages. I want to give the animals the freedom to come and go. It's the only way they'll feel comfortable. Well, she's the boss. Since when do the other animals eat each other in this show? Hey, what do you think, we have a freaking bear living there with chipmunks and not eating the them for some already. reason. The color just pops, you know? Quite roomy inside, really, and very safe. You think unicorns Don't would do better at construction do you than Earth ponies? Or do you love it? I... I... I don't love it. This is not going to work at all. A giraffe can't fit through this door. With these curtains blocking the light, how are the birds going to sing in the sunshine? And this is the opposite of a nice hug. I know you all worked hard, but none of you did anything I asked for. There you go, Fluttershy. That's Tell them true. what we you think. We used the trees just like you asked. And that curtain fabric is organic. It's got natural fiber. It looks like Fluttershy and really I learned her lessons inside my cages. from that last season. Is feeling like a hug. I may not know much about construction or interior design or wrangling, but I am an expert at one thing. The care you cut them of all down. Animals. And what animals need is a sanctuary, not this. Maybe you're vision wasn't all it was cracked up to be you know my vision isn't the problem here i told you all exactly what i wanted and none of you listened to me 
So while I appreciate your efforts, I no longer require your services. Hello! Oh, the animals have been so excited for the sanctuary. They couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> Can we take a look inside? Oh, um, actually, it's, uh, not ready, and... <gasps> Get the hell out. I say why they brought in these new characters now. Uh-oh, here they come. Oh, there's the draft. Typical raccoons. Oh, I'm so sorry. Now they're stuck in the cages. No. Oh, he got I'm out. I'm the one who should be sorry. There goes the building. This didn't go at all like I had imagined. That's a pretty badly designed if one hit knocks the whole thing down. Sleep tight, little one. It's going to be okay. I promise. Now, now, every mouse has got to wait their turn. Because you asked strangers oh, to help so you and not sorry. your friends. I thought I'd have a beautiful sanctuary for you all to stay in by now. But I put my trust in the wrong ponies. It's okay, Applejack has made dozens of barns. She could have easily built but anything we can make you needed. This work here. It'll be a bit, uh, tight. But with your help, we'll have these patients back on their paws in no time. Even without a sanctuary. No! <laughs> I won't give up. These animals need me, and I'm going to solve this once and for all. If this little lady can crawl all the way here from Western Equestria, I can find a way to build her a safe place to rest. <laughs> Oops. There you go, Fluttershy. Now. That passion Thanks is why a lot of people home. love you. As you know, building the sanctuary didn't go quite as planned. I know, right? Who would have guessed that hard hat wouldn't build whatever you want? I never would have invited Go talk Dandy to Twilight to and tell her she, you want her manner. help. <sighs> and Wrangler sure made a fool out of me, too. I'm sorry, Fluttershy. So she can help you. It's okay. You were all just trying to help. But I know that letting all the experts go was the right call. So what are you going to do now? Try again. I'm yeah, going contractors to never. The and do it my way this time. <laughs> you shut up, Billy. That's the spirit. How about putting an awesome flying course for the birds right there? And a carrot cake stand here. Ooh, a library cave. Every pony stop. I appreciate you sharing your thoughts, but I need every pony to respect mine. Other ponies may be experts in their fields, but animals are my field of expertise. And if I say this is what I want, then uh, this guys, is what guys, to guys, let happen. Fluttershy do oh, her vision, animals, not yours. Wow, we should call you Flutter Bold now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. To get things back on track, I called in a favor from an old friend. He'll be here any minute. It's nice to see I the confident Fluttershy. I no more experts. This is one expert I know I can trust to put the animals first. Plus, there's no point uh, she's still flutter shy. <laughs> I heard some pony needs construction help for them critters. Big Daddy hmm. McCold. We met each other back when the map called me and Fluttershy to the Smoky Mountains. And he certainly knows his stuff when it comes to buildings and caring for hmm. animals. Who's this? Well, shut. Haha, <laughs> Big Daddy the Colt. I never it. thought we'd see what him again. <laughs> I never expected to see this guy again. It's interesting the characters they're bringing out this season. Alright, Starlight, you're there! Good, uh, Starlight could really help out here. Boy, Rainbow, you're strong.
That's a lot of water for those freaking buckets. A tire swing. Tires confirmed in Equestria. Are you ready? Oh, ah, the I'm CMC. More excited than a beaver in a log pile. Okay. Twilight doing her you thing. Open your eyes. And Applejack and doing her planting. Sweet feather sanctuary. <laughs> of course, Rarity makes a nice little bush or pillow. <gasps> oh, Fluttershy! This is amazing. Now you Sweet feathers. That fits Fluttershy them, so they well. Can cover here with my help, of course. It's okay, Lola. We all move at our own pace. Yep, this is a true animal sanctuary. Sometimes, all we need to do is believe in our dreams. And when we finally reach our goal, we'll know that it was worth what it took to get there. Because Fluttershy just got herself a life goal. Than you imagined. Now she actually has a job. It is a nice place. It's a good thing these animals don't follow the food chain, or they'd all be dead. Well, that was an interesting episode. Fluttershy building an animal sanctuary. It went ex exactly how I was expecting it to go. That they wouldn't be able to interpret her dream and just do everything the way they think they could do. But I am proud of Fluttershy for sticking up for what she believed in, and telling them to get the hell out of there. She took command of the situation and made her dream a reality. I know Silverquill's really gonna love this episode. Fluttershy is his favorite after all. I do love Fluttershy, but she's not my favorite. She's like number six on my list. But every time she makes an appearance in last season and this season, she's going up higher. They are really doing a lot with their character lately. Well, that's it for this one, and please support the official release. See you later, guys.